Hey and welcome to a new Vegas video. Now this isn't going to be a let's play, first of all. This is just going to be you, or actually not you, me, showing you a route of a... Uh, an easy route to get to new Vegas, like straight away uh, when you start the game. When I first started playing I saw new Vegas in the distance and thought, oh that looks cool. I'll go there and then straight away got ripped by fucking rad scorpions. So this way I've devised, uh, you kind of avoid most of the enemy spawns and um, you don't even need to sneak at all. Well, there's one part where you might need to sneak, but I'll show you that, but usually you can just run. So this, could be, this is probably the quickest way as well that i find. so. Now the first hurdle here will be uh, uh, pop-up menus. Those pop-up menus are dangerous. Watch out for them. Okay, the second hurdle will be coyotes here. There'll be uh, coyotes to the left of me, jokers to the right. I don't know my left and right. Um, but there'll be coyotes on either side there, so watch out for them. I don't think they're not too much of a problem during the day, but I think during the night they're more of a problem, so we shouldn't have to worry about them. Okay, so to the right here again, there'll be some more coyotes, so we just want to stay going towards this sign. And then down in the road there, there will be powder gunners, um, so they can cause you a problem. Um, as long as you stay to the left of this blue truck, you should be okay, but on the other side of that train track, again, there will be powder gunners, so you want to stay away from them. Uh, there shouldn't be too many up here, but stick to these rocks, and you'll be fine. The only thing, <coughs> the only thing you'll see in these rocks pretty much every time is... Okay, I don't know where he is, but there'll be some sort of rad scorpion. That's the music you can hear there. So that rad scorpion, he's not even usually a giant rad scorpion. He's usually a baby rat, a baby uh, rad scorpion. So again, you can outrun him easily. So we'll just go down here, and we're coming up to Sloan here. So is he fucked off yet? Okay. So as you come up to Sloan, I usually just go on these chin tracks. Yeah, because I don't want to discover slow. Now watch out to the right here again. There is either ra rad scorpions or... Yeah, I think it's rad scorpions. But they can appear there and... They won't see you, but you might see them on, on uh, your radar. So just, as long as you stay on the train track, you'll probably be okay. Okay, so the next part that might be... That you have to look out for, really, is this part. Once you get to here... You want to just jump up here. You don't want to go anywhere near this area because death claws will fuck you. And to the right again, there'll be rad scorpions and there'll be giants probably. So stay away from them. Just go through this little shed just to be safe. Because you go down there and sometimes rad scorpions will uh, attack you. So once you get to this rock, you'll go to the right uh, just to stay away from all the death claws. Uh, we'll go towards the nearest shack here. You have to be quiet because if you wake him, he'll be pissed. And he'll, st he'll stick his rebar club in your orifice. Nah, well, whatever. No matter what way you do it, Neil is fairly adamant that he wants to talk to you. So you're gonna you're gonna meet Neil every time. So you just there's no getting away from him. I've tried many times to run, but he always finds me. Okay, so as you come here, you want to stay on this ridge. Again, you don't have to hide, but just watch out. Down in that shed, there could be some mutants. And then go to, all the way to the end of this, to this cliff face. Oh. This is a dangerous place, you. Yeah, see what I mean? He always wants to talk to you, no matter what. So if you hear footsteps, steps are closely running behind you, it'll be Neil's. So just don't panic. Because Neil is a friendly sort. Even though he is an ugly bastard. Okay, so here we are, and we want to avoid all these super mutants here. So again, there'll be super mutants probably up here. Usually, there's a super mutant and his pet centaur. Uh, Tiddles. That's what the centaur is called. Up in this hill, there'll be probably more super mutants. So you just want to wait here until they fuck off and go up. Uh, 
go up the hill a little bit. You also watch out for Nightkin as well. I've seen, uh, I was attacked by a Nightkin once here. Before I, uh, while I was exploring. When I was trying out this route for a couple of times, so. I think the Nightkin is up there somewhere, but he's invisible, so you can't see him, the sneaky bastard. But watch him, because he'll put his invisible Nightkin balls in your face. You want to take all this guy's armor on his uh, revolver. And then wait for these rocks to go. Um, stay hidden. And then run. Okay. So you want to run into this little crack. While this rock passes. And then again you can just run on. You might, be, you might even be able to ru run past that rock. But I've been clipped by it a few times. So... You know, if it cripples your lim limbs, I don't have any stim packs on me, or a doctor's bag, so I don't have anything that'll, that'll heal my limbs, so... It'll be a long run to New Vegas if you do it that way. Now, one of the main reasons that I'm avoiding all enemies and not killing anything is, well, number one is because, obviously, death causing super mutants are out of my league at level zero. And, uh... Also because I'm trying to keep my experience down. I don't want to level up. Right now I'm at... Uh, my intelligence is at 9. Uh, but... I would like to get it at 10 to get uh, the maximum number of skill points that I can. And depending if... Uh, for instance, if you have a odd number of intelligence points, you're going to be getting... An, like, half a skill point each time you level up. So... That'll be rounded up every second level or something, but with 9, for instance, I'm going to be getting my first level 14 and a half skill points, and that'll be rounded up to 15. For the first level, but the second level, I'll only get 14 skill points. So what I want to do is, uh, I can level up the first time, and once I level up, I'll be okay, because I'll get 15 skill points, and then on my second level, I'll be getting 14 and a half. Well, actually, I'll, I'll only be getting 14, sorry. But I'll be getting 14, and... So what I want to do is I want to start gambling, get as much uh, money as I can, obviously 4,000 caps is enough to get the intelligence implant, once I get the intelligence intelligence implant I'll be able to get the level, or not level 10, but uh, 10 intelligence points, and once I have that I'll be able to get 15 skill points per level, no problem. Okay, so what you want to do here is, there should be merchants on here, okay, well speak of the devil, and he will appear. At this level, the merchants don't have a lot of money in their uh, in their wallets, so most of them have about 300, 400 caps. So you want to talk to everybody, basically, every merchant you see, possibly these guys if you really need to, um, to try and get some money from gambling. Really, you only need like 200 caps is enough just to do the maximum bet, and then you can just save and reload. If you uh, if you lose it, but uh, again, luck is a, a big part of it, trying to make money in this. So my luck's usually very high. Usually I have a like a nine luck. What I do is I start with seven luck, um, then I try and get the um, implant. But on my first level, I use uh, my sp I train my special skills uh, using that perk. Intense training, I think it's called. Um, so with intense training, um, you get you're able to add a skill point to anything you want, so I add mine to luck, and I end up with 9 luck. And then once you have 9 luck, it's actually ridiculous how easy it is to make money. You can basically just keep on clicking, and you'll get be getting 20 every time you get a hand in a blackjack. Uh, it's not too hard. So, as you can see, this way is no enemies whatsoever. There's some kind of gay NCR guy buying going on here. When I come, they, like, stop doing what they were doing. They all look, you know, trying to look inconspicuous, but I know what they're re really up to. Because the end of those rifle bots look sticky. Dirty bastards. Okay, so I come this way uh, as well, because this is where you're going to make most of your money early on in the game. You go along this road to this these two bridges. And um, the only thing to look out for is, in that direction, there'll be golden geckos. I think that's where one of the vaults is, Vault 38 or something. So, you look out for the golden geckos there. If you stay on this bridge, you should be okay. Um, really, I think if you go past that pipe, you might 
is when you get when it gets dangerous and when you go there they'll definitely see you when you go to if you go to that uh, red container but there's no re there's no reason to go that far so really what you want to do is take all this crap off these corpses there's some stuff in these ash piles but really you want the combat armor the combat armor sells for about a thousand get all the stuff off that bramen there's more ash there and there's ash up the top of this hill as well so get all that shit and if you're lucky you'll get some reinforced combat armor and that's you set for a good portion of the early part of the game um, but as I said the combat armor usually sells for a thousand hopefully there'll be a, a merchant for you that spawns here and you can sell some of the stuff the other is there so you can sell some of the stuff to him um, combat armor unfortunately I think is too expensive at this stage Again, most of the merchants, if if merchants that even have 800 caps, that's a good uh, that's a good merchant. But uh, most of them won't be able to sell combat armor or buy combat armor because it's too expensive for them. But uh, it's good to have anyway, to wear and hopefully repair. Okay, so here we are in Freeside. So we're pretty much to Vegas. So the problem at this stage is money. So we can't get into Vegas because we have very little money. Maybe, maybe if you have a decent speech and have managed to find, maybe from one of those merchants, uh, a medium people magazine, maybe you can get your speech up so you can get, convince Ralph to give you the passport. But you probably want to go into Mick and Ralph's anyway to sell most of your stuff. Okay, there's always a thug here, or two in this case. You can usually run past them. And for some reason, okay, no, they have, they have spotted me actually. But, uh, yeah, you run away from them. Anytime they go to attack you, they just have to stop. So, if you just keep running, they'll lag behind and they won't be able to catch you. And then they won't follow you. They won't throw you through to, uh, Freeside. You can go to Freeside and happy days, you're here. So, we'll go to the Atomic Wrangler and we start gambling straight away with our money that we have. And you might want to go into New Vegas straight away, and with like the two thousand and and uh, yeah, pay two thousand. But I usually wait until I have enough speech to convince Mick to give me his fake passport or sell me it for five hundred. And um, but that's it. You can gamble here until you have enough for whatever implant you want. Four thousand is enough for most of the early ones. But uh, here's another way to get easy money. Welcome to the silver. Just go in here. I'm going to have to s yeah, search away. Alright, so once you come into the Silver Wrangler, um, you have all this shit just lying about. It's pretty ridiculous. And it's game-breaking because if you come your shit away, you can get quite a lot of money. The problem with this chick is she doesn't... Uh, she doesn't buy weapons. You won't be able to sell what you've robbed off her. And you won't be able to... All your weapons are outside, so... She took all them. So what we'll do is we'll take one of these uh, plasma grenades. They 300 they sell for, but I think you get 150 for them. Basically, you take everything in here, just pick it up using Z in this case, and then rob it, and that's it. I mean, if you have a stealth boy, it's good because you can just basically help yourself. But uh, yeah, you can take everything and start off with this nice little weapons cache. And they don't really care. They just let you have it because they're nice people. You got a problem? Um. Yeah. For instance, take this. Well, that didn't work. But yeah, I think you get the idea that you just take everything in here, and there you go. The problem you'll have is just selling it all because none of the merchants have enough money. But you'll be able to clear out most merchants now with it, with all this crap. That yeah, most of it's pretty shite anyway. So. You'll have loads of money to start with, and you'll be able to go and sh shoot away to get implants, and probably be able to get into Vegas straight away now as well, with the money you make here. So that's all I really wanted to say, say and show you uh, my few tips for starting off a new Vegas game. So I hope you enjoyed this, and hope it's useful to someone at least. So, peace out.